It is February 19th, Monday afternoon, and you are listening to the Khan Baba. Welcome everybody. Wherever you're tuned in from and we love you and we're glad you're here. Let start the today information. Globalization is a relatively new term, first appearing in the 1970s and quickly supplanting earlier concepts sharing roughly similar terrain. Internationalization, post-colonialism, new international economic order. Broadly defined, globalization describes how nations, businesses, and people worldwide are becoming more connected and interdependent through increased economic integration and communication exchange, cultural diffusion, and travel. Lee, 2002, further considers globalization to be affecting change in spatial, temporal, and cognitive dimensions. Social activities increasingly transcend borders and occur more rapidly, as do people's understanding of global events and their place in the world. By such an account, globalization is not a new phenomenon, rather, apart from small and geographically isolated settlements, this push, prod, and sharing against borders has characterized much of the history of human societies. At base, it is driven by economic and political expansion, whether by trade or conquest. Some historians date the modern era of Western globalization with European colonial expansion and the Westphalia formation of nation-states in the late 17th century. Mercantilism dominated globalization's policies and practices over the next two centuries, as governments supported their local merchant class in competition for an expanding global trade, facilitated by technological advances in maritime navigation. A series of late 19th century economic recessions, rising social inequalities, staggering inflation, and nationalist protectionism became the fertile ground from which the Great War emerged, which devastation and lessons failed to find a sufficiently firm political foothold to avoid a recurrence in the Second World War. This foothold became more secure in the 30 years following the Second World War, which saw a new pattern in globalization emerge with the creation of stronger multilateral governance bodies. The United Nations, UN, replaced the League of Nations. The International Monetary Fund, IMF, was created to maintain macroeconomic stability and avoid the recessionary crises underpinning both world wars. The World Bank, WB, was founded to finance reconstruction of war-torn Europe, and later, developing country economies and social infrastructure. Take care!